I don't know if you can see these guys over here, but I've come down here this morning and put my clients on some fish. And we got a couple of wrongdoers over here tied up to a buoy, which is illegal. I'm gonna call the Coast Guard on them. Looks like Bob Snagalot and Tom Calker from Ohio. Hey, won't y'all quit tying up to them buoys? I'm gonna call the Coast Guard on you. Yeah, that's illegal. I never told you. That's a lie. You said, you, you said so. No, I never said nothing about tying up to no bully. Don't get my name in the middle of it, buddy. Oh, then don't you be posting no videos of it. I got you recording right now. I'm gonna send it to Wikipedia and that way they can list you under wrongdoers. Captain Scott here this morning. I got Tony, one of my good friends and regular clients from Illinois. We got three days. We're looking for one big fish, big flathead. We'll take a striper or a blue if we catch them too. We did catch a blue earlier, a real nice blue earlier this morning before daylight, as you can see from the picture here. Uh, but like I say, we're really targeting a big flathead. The blues have come off the nest, so this is post spawn for the blue catfish, and it really affects the flathead fishing. And I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks today. When the blues are post spawning, where to find how to catch the big flatheads. Stay tuned. We're showing on the fish finder. Got a couple of good arcs right here. So we'll go to the down imaging. And you can see them. These are stripers. Got a flathead right here. A couple stripers, flathead, couple stripers. Looks like another striper. Little fish. We're fishing off a little point right here. As you can see, I'll see if I can blow it up. I can. Little stair step point right here. Got one boat over back here in the back. Me and Tony sitting there reminiscing. Go ahead and reel down on him, Tony. Fish on, good fish. I believe it's a big old blue. I'll just let him go right there in the water. We don't need pictures of him. And he sure made that thing over. Yeah. Serious about it. Nice little blue. Reel down on him. Striper. Oh yeah, look, look at that bearing that rod. Heck yeah. Big fish on. Down here a little bit deeper water one thing you want to do when you're targeting flatheads in this post blue spawn is you want to get around some gnarly heavy cover and that's what we are this morning you can see a few fish down here on the bottom we're in 75 foot of water well we got a big one right here big old fish right here on the bottom mark me a waypoint here on my other one so i'm gonna mark it save it I got a big, big fish on the bottom. Looks like there's another big fish right here. So we've got some pretty nice fish here in this little bit deeper water. But as you can see, it's gnarly. These flatheads walk this real big tight cover. We 
we're just gonna look around here for a minute. Marking another big fish on the bottom. So we marked some really nice fish right here. Probably a big flathead right here. You're gonna have to be tight to the cover, tight to these ledges, this big ledge right here off this main channel. But as you can see, we got two or three real big fish laying right here on the bottom. Got another one coming up. So we're gonna go look back up to that waypoint we marked and spot lock on these fish. And yeah, he's yeah he's he's trying to drive it. Do your thing, brother. You know this deal, drill. Reel down your. Oh yeah. Here we, here we go. He's peeling drag already. All righty. Keep it tight, brother. Not this time, huh? No, I think he was going. I think he was going the other direction. Oh, yeah, here we go. Kill that drag, baby. All right, see the bubbles. He's not coming up slow. I see him now. Another flathead. Another big flathead. He was sitting on bottom. Look right here. See all that blood? Oh, yeah. There you go, brother. Just put a real nice flathead in the boat. I want to show you what we're using for bait today and why we're using this for bait. We're using we're using frozen skipjack herring. I buy these vacuum seal frozen. We like cut bait here. Uh, the main reason we like cut bait, I like live bait for flatheads, but we like cut bait because there's so many little blues in here. If you drop a bluegill down or a shad down, if the flathead don't get it first, the little catfish are gonna kill it. But we use big pieces of cut bait, and that's what we're catching all these big flatheads on. Gotta keep this bait fresh, keep it on ice. I keep it in the cooler, I keep it on ice. I keep it as fresh as possible. We're gonna get back to fishing. We're getting a bite on one right here. Watch him right here. We getting bites, we getting lots of bites this morning. Um, main thing on these flatheads is you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient and on this post spawn blue, like I said earlier, get away from the blue catcher. If you're getting blue cat fights, you gotta move. Here I am. I've moved down river to get away from you because you've been following me and here you are again. You got Bob Snag a lot with you. Kelly won't even take my messages. What? Uh, yeah. Kind of a wrongdoer you are. I'm sitting here on spot lock and you're drifting right into my Well, field. you're gonna have to move. You're going to have to move. You have to move. Where are you on the lake? I'll tell you what. I come over. If I whip your ass, I get one of the pick of the rods. <laughs> you better bring your help there with uh, you. Who you got in there with you? No, huh? Bob Snaggs a lot. Snaggs a lot, yeah. Snaggs a lot. I still ain't over that skipjack ordeal out there at the clinch. We'd have, caught, we'd have caught a whole lot of skipjack if he wouldn't have been in the trees all morning. Uh. Yeah. All right, guys, we just put a real nice flathead in the boat. Um, we wouldn't get any flathead bites this morning. We were getting beat to death with a little peckernet blues. And when you're fishing that post spawn blue, you've got to get away from the blues if you're going to find a flathead. So what we did, we came down here, as you can see from the Lake Master, a little underwater point comes out right here to the deep water. And we were just spot locked right off that uh, underwater point in about 70 some foot of water. And be patient. We've had to sit here and wait this fish out. We waited about two hours on this fish. 
but if you're flathead fishing during the post spawn of the blue cats and you're getting pecker gnat bites and you're catching blue cats, you need to move. You're not going to catch a flathead there. We've moved to three different spots this morning. We've caught blues all morning long, a couple of nice blues. Um, but we've had to move to where we got away from blues. Now here we've gotten away from blues and we put that nice real nice flathead in the boat uh, using gut baits. So we think there's another good flathead to be had here and we're gonna hang tight and see if we can't get another fish and put it in a boat. Tom, here. Look right here behind you. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I got another flathead. Oh shit. Oh, it came back up. See the bite right there? Yeah. It came back up, flathead yeah. too. Yeah, right there, flathead. You can see the bite where he come up. He pulled the weight down. And he let go of it. He's something he didn't like about it. That's why I like these battle cat rods. They're uh, they got that real sensitive tip. He's still down there. See him right there, Tony. Mm -hmm. Nice flathead. But Tom, seriously, I've sat here for two or three hours. Yeah, I'm recording now, Tom. But I mean, I don't brag much. But you, you have to. You'll have to admit one thing. I'm on big fish. I don't, buddy. Just to you. You're the only one I know that's going to be standing at the pearly gates and lie his way into heaven. Tom, I'm the only friend you got. Why ain't you being nicer to me? Scott, I'm the only friend you got. How do you stand there lying to me like that? I, I'm going to start calling you Persia Manning. You I, never, like a rug. I ain't never lied to you. I might have stretched the truth a little bit. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Manning? Manning. What? Guess what? What? Have a nice day. Bye. That was a nice flathead right there. Yeah. But he reached up and grabbed that bait and something he didn't like about it, he let go of it. You can see right there, he grabbed that bait right there. And mm -hmm. just, that's why I tell, another reason people won't catch flatheads, Tony, is is their uh, their equipment's too heavy for for, for flatheads. If flathead reaches up and grabs that bait, he don't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. If you got a big heavy rod, he feels that rod, He's going to, hey, something ain't right, and he'll let go of it. These rods here are real, real sensitive tips, so he can grab that bait. He'll never even feel that rod. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Are these seven, six? Seven, seven, foot, six, six? seven foot six battle cat heavy yeah. action rods. I've been, I've been yeah. looking at buying one for the house. I've got the Coldwater 153D reels on them with uh, that. Gamma 30 pound main line. The Coldwater's got 18 pounds of drag. You can visit those guys at gammafishing.com. It's getting hot out here. But we own some flatheads here this morning. Patience. Get away from the blues. Get in a little bit deeper water. This time of year, there's a lot of boat traffic. Heavy boat traffic creates pressure in the water. It'll drive them fish deeper. We've got four down lines here. We're just going to sit here. Tony's getting hungry, but I'm going to make him wait it out just a few more minutes. I still think we're good for one more fish. But hang loose, guys. We're going to we're going to get back to fishing. Not even moving. Reel down on it. Big fish. Big flathead. Big flathead. Oh, yeah, this is the one you come for. Yeah. It's all you. All you, brother. I'm going to get this one back here out of play. Fishing. Yeah, he, he, I can't get nothing on him. Keep tight. Don't move your rod. You just keep it tight. I'm trying to gain a little bit on him, but they keep the curve to it, you know, keep pressure on But he ain't caught, he ain't doing shit. I'm still on 68. Yeah, you're fine. Keep it down. Keep it tight. This one's out of play. I'm going to move this one out of play. I'm going to come up a little bit. Keep it tight. Yeah. You might be on this rod behind you, but if you are, you are. I see you fish coming up. Don't move your rod, just keep the rod steady. Yeah. Yeah. This is a brood, ain't it? Feels like, yeah, because I ain't gaining shit on it. Lower your rod just a little bit, keep it tight. Okay. And the higher the rod up, the more pressure you put on the tip. Oh. You want all the pressure right here. There you it's go. Coming up. Nice. 30. 
Just brought in, brother. Ain't no shit. Huh? Oh, your rod just a little bit. A little bit more. guys it's day two of our three-day challenge we've come down in a part of the lake that we've never really flathead fished for marked some real nice fish in 67 foot of water we're just spot locked on them down line so got fresh bait on them so let's see what happens guys wish us luck stand by hey folks what we're doing this morning let me adjust the light on this where we can see a little bit better right here off the main channel blow it up one lick as you can see here, here's the main channel comes right down through here. And there's a little water seam comes right here. There's some little potholes right here. It actually even goes to 90 foot. So we're right on the edge of that potholes. You can see some little stair steps right there. And then flatheads like to lay right on these little stair steps as ambush spots. Water temp's 84 degrees down here in the lake, a little bit warmer down in the lake. But as you can see, there's plenty of fish, fish activity in here. So now it's the now it's the waiting game. All right, guys, we got one pulling down right here. Let's see what he does here, Tony. Oh, he's swimming like right now. Yeah, got to make him commit. It's a good fish, whatever it is, but. Gotta make sure he's got that bait down there. He gonna pile it, he gonna... I think he's got it down here or well. It's a blue for sure. Yeah. Next time. All right, go down, reel down, reel fish on, fish on, fish. Here we go. Tell me what you need, boss. Anything to him? Compared to what we've been catching this morning, I ain't gonna. He's coming up. We got about 28. All right, I'm getting the net, bro. Yeah, he's coming to the top. 15. I'd say it's 15 to 20 at least. Feels like it anyway. Five. Here you go. Big old flathead. Here you come. Big old male flathead. Big old male. Look at him all be uh, coming off that spawn. Here you go. That's why he didn't fight none. He ain't got no energy. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready to get out of here. The sun's come up. A lot of boat traffic on the 4th of July weekend. Caught a real nice flathead this morning. We caught a male flathead. As you can see from the picture here. Uh, he'd just come off spawn. He was beat up pretty good. Just remember the little tips and tricks I've talked to you about uh, fishing for these flatheads during this post spawn. If you got any questions, email me at TennesseeRiverMonsters at Yahoo.com. Here's my email address. Or if you want to call me, my number is here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tight lines.